Have you been surfing porn on the internet? Of course not. But if you have, you may have spyware. If your computer is running slow or you are seeing annoying pop-ups and flashing security alerts, you may have spyware. Spyware can steal your passwords and lead to identity theft. SuperAntiSpyware.com is a free download that anonymously detects and removes spyware, malware, trojans, key loggers. Super Anti Spyware is 100% free. Download Super Anti Spyware from SuperAntiSpyware.com. Sure.com with Dana White here after UFC 68. Most successful show uh, attendance-wise in the history of M uh, North American MMA. How are you guys feeling? It's awesome, man. It was an incredible night. Um, after seven years, I've never experienced anything like this whole, you know, ever since I got here. Fucking insane. The weigh-ins were, you know, 5,500 people at the weigh-ins. Uh, tonight was incredible. The fights were incredible. The fans were, it was insane. It was an, incre it was an amazing night. Did you talk to Randy Couture after the fights tonight, and did you tell him uh, you were pulling for him the whole time, or what? I, he's a freak of nature, man. I mean, I mean, this was one of those water cooler fights that everybody was talking about. Everywhere I went, L.A., England, people were like, you know, can can he get inside Tim's reach? Can he do this? Can he do that? Nobody was asking, will he outstrike Tim Sylvia? Nobody asked that question. He is a fucking freak of nature. What was your thoughts on that fight before you saw it, and what was your thoughts after? Um, I thought it was interesting. You know, I, I was wondering if uh, Randy would be able to, you know, history has shown with Couture with the bigger guys. He, he beats him early. And then he, you know, when you got a 265-pound guy laying on top of you, it's tough. You know, uh, it was interesting. I, I was very curious to see how it was going to go. Did I think Tim was going to starch him? Did I think Randy was going to get him down the ground and pound him out? I had no idea. That's what made the fight so interesting. Creates a big matchup for you guys if uh, Crow Cop can get past Gabe Gonzaga. Is that the fight for uh, sometime in the summer? Yep, if he gets past Gonzaga, Couture, I think Couture, uh, uh, Mirko Crow Cop is very interesting. You saw what Kevin Randleman did to Mirko. Uh, interesting. What about Matt Hughes coming back fighting Chris Lytle? I mean, he didn't look like the Matt Hughes who we've seen in the past. You know what? I said this earlier. Uh, Chris Lytle looked like shit against Matt Serra in the finale. And it was the worst finale we've ever had. But longtime MMA guys know Chris Lytle's a tough motherfucker who's got great stand up, great jujitsu, and uh, he just choked in the finale, you know? Let's face it though, Matt Hughes steamrolled guys like Chris Lytle for a long time. It's true. That is true. But uh, Chris, Chris Lytle came out and fought like a fucking mad dog who had everything to lose tonight. And uh, I'll tell you what, that kid was mentally ready. He told me he's never been so mentally prepared for a fight as he was tonight. He knows he blew it in the Ultimate, four fina uh, Ultimate Fighter 4 finale. And uh, I knew Matt was in for a tough fight tonight. I knew it. I agree. I agree. Um, but seeing Matt's performance, is he ready to go after George St. Pierre again? Or do you think he needs another fight? No, I think he's ready. I mean, Hughes is the, 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 the most dominant welterweight champion ever, you know. Uh, sitting around saying he needs more, more experience is like saying fucking Rampage needs more fights before he fights Chuck Liddell, which is insane. And Rampage has fought the best fighters in the world for years now. You know. And where does that fight stand? You were looking for an opponent for Chuck Liddell. The rumors kept flying that it was going to be Vanderlei Silva if he could get past Dan Henderson. That doesn't look like it's a possibility anymore. Is it Quentin Jackson? That's because the people at Pride are fucking retarded, okay? They have uh, Vanderlei Silva, their biggest star ever, you know, go out and fight a uh, 185-pound guy and get knocked out by him and completely destroy him and destroy the whole mystique and destroy basically the biggest fight in MMA history. Uh, that's about as smart as having fucking Sakuraba go out and fight every uh, monster on the fucking planet, your biggest Japanese star, and get him annihilated by every fucking heavyweight and light heavyweight in the, uh, in the world fucking geniuses they're having their kind of problems now anyways but uh, what is that going to be quentin's fight um yeah I, let me tell you what uh quentin is a tough guy he beat chuck liddell once and uh it's an interesting fight last question Can you know two on that i think rampage you know people are talking about the fight with rampage and uh marvin eastman i think rampage fights better against better competition you know he does fight to his competition he always has one last question. Chuck Liddell the other day in Dallas. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Uh, we haven't seen any uh, response from the UFC. I'm really upset about it. You know, uh, Chuck Liddell has pneumonia right now. And uh, 
Chuck's been sick for a long time, and what a lot of people don't realize, this shit's hard, man. And uh, Chuck's the biggest star in, in MMA all over the world right now, and uh, there's a lot of demands on him. He, uh, he's been sick for a long time. Lorenzo and I told him to go see a doctor, and he didn't. And I think the people that are surrounding him right now are fucking morons. Whoever the asshole is that showed up at that television show with him and let him make that appearance is a fucking idiot, and I'd like to beat him with a stick, okay? I'm flying to San Luis Obispo tomorrow with Lorenzo to go see how he's doing, and, uh, you know, he's, he's just got some fucking stupid people around him right now, and it makes me sick. The guy's not well. He, he was obviously not well when he went and did that interview, and some fucking moron let him do it. Uh, that's when you, you say, you know what, we need to cancel this uh, Good Morning Texas interview, and Chuck needs to go home and get some fucking sleep. I agree. Any last comments on UFC 68? Um, which one was this we just did? That's the one. 68 was fucking awesome. You can't believe me. What I was just at, you're going to see me in one of those Chuck Liddell interviews in about three weeks. I'm feeling like that right about now, too. But it was awesome. Tonight, I'm seriously, it was, it was the most incredible uh, night of my entire career. And uh, I'm completely physically and emotionally and mentally drained right now. I mean, it, I, I couldn't say enough good things about tonight. I couldn't be more excited, even though I probably don't seem it right now. It's what time is it? It's like fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. Yep. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm beat down, but unbelievable. Incredible.